Amsterdam is perhaps most famous for its beautiful architecture, canals, coffee shops, art, liberal attitudes and of course, bicycles. But our trip to the city would have a slightly different focus. Invited by Clink Hostels to explore the active options Amsterdam has to offer, we booked a two day break and began planning our itinerary. The plan was simple, to sample some of Amsterdam's best activities for those who like to keep it active and to consume enough street waffle to sink an Amstel ferry. Klink Nord stands on the River Amstel in Amsterdam Nord. Having been an old laboratory, Klink retains its 1920s lab charm and the space is energetic, abundant with creative artwork and contemporary design. Klink is also home to its own bar, cafe, canteen and relaxation space. We made use of the bar, grabbing food and drink before we bedded down, ready to explore the city in the morning. We woke to a full continental breakfast spread, from cereals to cured meats, cheeses to pastries. We ate our fill, ready for our first activity. When I knew that our trip to Amsterdam was to be an active break in the city, I knew straight away that we'd be going bouldering. We're both keen climbers and there's no shortage of bouldering gyms to choose from in Amsterdam. Being just a 40 minute walk from Klink, we decided on Monk, a fresh feeling gym in the north of the city, with great views over the river and a brilliant variety of boulders and training areas. With so many boulders to go at, we took up most of the morning in the gym, getting used to the setting and making use of the cafe, and falling off boulder problems until we had only one care in the world a nagging hunger for pancakes. Okay, so that was a pretty long and pretty successful climb of Monk. Uh, really like the centre, really like the climbing. I think I found my level with blacks. I like the blacks and then I couldn't really get, get much further than that. But it was a really good session. I had a lot of fun. And I'm really glad that we came here. I'm glad we picked a good one. And uh, now I think we're going to go and maybe get some pancakes. Because I feel like after a big climb in Amsterdam, Getting pancakes or waffles is a good way to go. Climbed out, we headed across the city to hunt for a cafe to refuel in, eventually deciding on coffee and coconuts. With outlets in Bali and Amsterdam, CNC is a bohemian and sprawling coffee house set across four floors inside an old 1920s cinema. Around the corner, I thought I'd seen you. We ordered the pancakes, an avocado toast and eggs, and of course, coffee, and sat watching the world go by from our cosy corner sofa, until it was time to brave the walk back to Clink, where we spent the rest of the evening playing a very competitive game of table tennis. Good morning guys, so we are up early this morning, because we're going to try and catch the 9am yoga class um, they have a really beautiful atrium here which is kind of like a social space but they also run like movie nights and classes so yoga is this morning at nine i'm gonna grab some breakfast and then we're gonna hit the mat it's been a long time since i've done yoga <laughs> i'll be honest um but i'm really looking forward to it it's a really lovely space and it'll be really nice and relaxing which i feel is like what you need the morning you fly so we're also going to try and catch immediately after yoga we're going to head out on the walking tour with clink and see the sights of amsterdam because yesterday obviously we were in the bouldering gym for a little bit and then we did have a wander around the city but it'll be nice to you know see see the sights so yeah, really exciting day planned. We fly this evening, uh, but yeah, I'm excited. After yoga in the atrium, we set out on Clink's walking tour of the city. Walking is a great way to see the city on the move, and over the tour, we would end up clocking over 16,000 steps. Our tour guide, Berber, wound a group through the cobbled streets of Amsterdam, telling stories of the 12th century fishermen who built the city and the golden age of Amsterdam's Dutch East India Company. The rain beat down on our waterproofs and we shivered on the canal sides, eager to learn more, but also looking forward to our hot chocolates afterwards.
so we just got finished with our walking tour. Uh, we took the free walking tour from Pink this morning, which took us for two, two and a half, probably closer to three hours around the centre of Amsterdam. So on the tour we learned all about history and the story of Amsterdam, which was really interesting. I learned a lot of things that I didn't already know about Amsterdam, like for example, the lady, our tour guide, told us um, that on the top of every building, I'm not sure if it's just along the canal, or if it's just in Amsterdam in general. But if you look, they have um, hooks on the top. The hooks on the top of the buildings stem from the fact that Amsterdam used to be a working port. So all the warehouses used to be along the canals and in order to transport their goods up the flights that they would hook up pulley systems to the hooks and that's how they would get the goods from the bottom to the top. Berber also said that people still use them, so say if there's like construction or people are moving house, then they just tuck up like your fridge or your sofa or like bags of cement onto these little hooks and take them up. So I thought that was pretty cool. But yeah, walking tour is really good, would definitely recommend. Freezing cold though, so now we're gonna go and find some pancakes I think because since we got here I've been wanting to get like Dutch pancakes or waffles. So. That's what we're going to go do now and warm up. With a few hours left to explore the city before our flight departed, we made our way slowly through the streets of Amsterdam, taking in the sights and planning our next trip with Clink. So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed our trip to Clink. We were really impressed with Clink Hostels and really loved the emphasis the hostel put on trying new things and having new experiences and the communal, friendly feel of the place. We were also thrilled, obviously, to try out a new Boulder Gym and I'll have a separate video on our session up shortly. I've left links to Clink's website and YouTube in the description if you'd like to check them out. But for now, that is it and I will see you in my next video. Bye!